Guys, oh, some sad news. RJ ordered something and it arrived broken. Mabu High Squad, look. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. It's a ceramic hot plate for cooking, but it arrived broken. Oh, RJ, are you gonna be able to get a refund? We're gonna try to. Oh, this would have been something cool to cook with. It's ceramic and it's uh, PTFE and PFOA free, so it would have been perfect. OMG guys, okay, you won't believe what I just saw. Okay, so remember how I placed the mouse trap way over here in that little corner? Well, I checked the trap and if you look carefully, check this out. I don't know if you guys could see that, but look, those are teeth marks. <gasps> the mouse went inside the trap and started chewing on the peanut butter. Okay, so here's the thing. I checked the area and look, Look guys, mouse droppings. Okay, so let's clean that first off. So we know it's eating the food here. So I'm gonna put the new trap here. It probably feels secure crawling into this little corner and eating. So I'm gonna move the trap here now. This here is such a bad mouse trap. And no, this is not a rat trap. This thing is only 20 centimeters. It just looks big on camera, but it's not. It's 20 centimeters long. An adult rat cannot fit in here. Can't fit its whole body in. This is built for a mouse, not built well. <laughs> So we're just not gonna use this anymore. Seriously, there's no point. Okay, the new mouse trap. And by the way, a smaller, better mouse trap is coming soon. We're just waiting for it to come in the mail. But I'm gonna stick this there and hopefully this time we'll catch it. Tonight, Mabu High Squad, we need to. Now guys, after thinking about it, I realized that these failed attempts at catching this mouse have been due to the fact that this design of trap assumes that the mouse is going to pull the bait with the hook attached on it, right? And that's what causes this door to shut closed, right? But I think the problem is the mouse goes in and instead of pulling the bait from the hook, it nibbles at it, you know what I mean? Like inside the cage so that there is no setting off of the trap while it's inside. Brilliant, by the way, that it's treating our bait like, you know, barbecue stick, you know what I'm saying? So I realized our food, our bait must not be something that it can chew from a hook it needs to be something kind of solid that will kind of wiggle while it's eating it you know what I mean so I'm gonna try a carrot and I'm gonna try just a tiny bit of carrot honestly it has to be small in order for this hook to wiggle you know what I mean it's gotta be small but like thick enough that it stays on the hook man this mouse so RJ and I have been talking if we don't catch this mouse after our next trap which is coming we're just gonna use a normal a normal mouse trap like where it has to die i'm sorry just we've run out of options and yeah there are a lot of like certain diy ones not sure if i'm willing to do that though like a bucket and all of that this mouse will not fall for that okay so this little piece of carrot if ah see even just the vibration of my finger on the cage set it off okay so set it then forget it and guys, I just had a brilliant, brilliant idea. So get this. I'm gonna put a little bit of peanut butter up here on the like wire that holds the carrot. You know why? Because the mouse will need to stand to get this peanut butter and it'll probably grab on to this carrot to eat it, right? And that will be enough to set the trap off. Am I not right, guys? Well, let's hope this works. And I don't wanna put it too close to the top because I'm afraid the mouse might try to go on top of the trap and that will set it off too and then it'll run away scared and we won't have any mouse so we want it to go in so i'm just gonna smother just a little bit there there we go guys see a little bit of peanut butter up there my hope is that it'll like stand up to eat that because look at how high it is it will need to stand up it'll touch the carrot you know just to reach that and then it'll set off the trap see it guys it's hanging right at the edge let's hope this works 
Okay guys, so RJ and I have been talking and we realized that since the mouse now is downstairs, we now know it's not upstairs. We were looking around, we we're like thinking, okay, what's it eating? Because none of the food we had stored had like holes in it or anything like that. Anyway, we've put all of the stored food in like containers so the mouse can't get any food at all down here. Um, and then I realized, OMG, it's probably eating like Ligaya's leftover bits of food that she flings everywhere after she eats in the morning. And then like, like if we don't get around to cleaning her tray by night, all of that food sits at the bottom of her cage and for sure the mouse is eating that, you know what I mean? Which means the mouse is going in her cage at night, which is very scary and it probably keeps the Gaia up and it probably even drinks from her water bowl, OMG. Okay, so like, I don't know why it's taking us this long to realize that, but after realizing this, we, RJ and I have decided, I'm sorry all of you guys, but we need to kill this mouse. Like we wanted to go the humane way, but it's clearly not working. So if tonight we don't catch this mouse, then tomorrow we're setting up like legit like lethal mouse trap And there are several there's one where like they stick to like a sticky pad and they can't leave It's still alive, but I mean you can't rip the mouse off the sticky pad You just throw the sticky pad away in the garbage and it just like dies out of starvation So there's that or you know the traditional one where you place the bait in the middle and slap like breaks their spine And they're like out quick and I think that's what we're gonna go with it's sad but I mean we're talking about the safety of Ligaya here too and Ligaya is like not right now in her best state of health so guys do you think that's the right thing to do like every night that goes by it endangers Ligaya you know what I mean so yeah tomorrow I think we're going to uh, get like the traditional mouse trap maybe I could even feed the mouse after it's dead to my python so it doesn't go to waste I don't know or my ants and film a video fire ants versus mouse part two Oh my god guys, it's 10 19 in the night. I heard a loud snap and it did sound like the trap. Sorry, I showered and I had to put on my hat because my hair is out of control. I think we finally caught it. But I'm scared. Can you come with me? I'm scared. <laughs> I think we finally caught it. But I mean, I'm sure the mouse is more scared than I am. Behind that curtain. Let's go see. I'm asking RJ to come. You know, sometimes I will wake up at like 4 a.m. in the night and I'll be afraid of a ghost. So I'll ask RJ to come with me to stand by the door while I pee. <laughs> this is how I know it's true love. <laughs> and he's sore from the gym. Did we catch it? Oh, there. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> RJ freaked out. We caught it. Oh my God. There. Oh my gosh, there it is. There's the little bugger. Oh my. Hey, buddy. It's cute though. It's cute. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, it's fast. Look at him. He like darts. I'm so sorry. He must be so scared. It worked. And look, the peanut butter is gone. Okay, wait. Let's let's lift the trap. Maybe there's another one though. This is... Oh, he's a boy. I saw his little bow. He's a boy. Oh my gosh. He, look how fast he is. Oh, don't be afraid. We're not gonna hurt you. But we've been trying to catch you for so long oh he must be so scared hi there buddy hi don't worry we're not gonna hurt you we're gonna let you go we just don't want you here you have such cute little beady eyes okay i'll just put you down right here oh my gosh look at how fast it is he is super fast oh i can't believe he's been boarding here for like how long has it been a, a week since we saw the damage he did to our door upstairs oh my gosh he's really trying to get out and you see guys this is a mouse trap it's not a rat trap oh he's chewing he's trying to chew okay but he can't chew through this because this is metal oh I am so happy at work. We're wondering if there's possibly another mouse around here. Like we want to set it up again, but we can't let him go now. Like we can't go outside. So he's just gonna have to stay inside this trap, I guess. And then we'll have him released outside and then we'll just set up the trap again, just in case there are more mice here. Again, we have no idea how this little mouse got in here. Yeah, how did it get he in here? No. Yeah, he ate the peanut. He ate a bait. I knew it. I knew it. All right. See my boy squad? With persistence, we could do it. And you know what? I'm also happy we're not gonna have to kill him. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey buddy, we've been trying to get you for so long. Man, I am so happy we have this now. So, I'll just 
try to stick food in there so it's got food till the morning and then it'll like survive. Oh my god, it's staring at me. You're so little. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. You're a smart little one too. <laughs> See guys, I was right. The mouse is super duper small. So I knew he had to kind of stand in order to nibble on the peanut butter. And in doing so, he had to put his little hands on the carrot and like essentially kind of sort of hang from it. And that's what set off the trap. Oh. Oh, what a relief. Oh, buddy, you are so cute. What should we name him? Let's name him Harrison. Aww, don't tell me you will keep him. No, I'm not gonna keep him. <laughs> RJ's like, ah. We're naming him and then releasing him. His name is Harrison for Harrison Ford, who played the fugitive in the movie. All right, little Harrison, sleep well. You'll be free in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhai squad. Mm -hmm. So, check out this mouse. Poor mouse is terrified. He's there in the corner, breathing hard. He's scared of me. You might be wondering, what is all that white stuff inside? Well, I put one of these paper towels over this cage. It's a cage now. Just so it wouldn't be scared when I came down in the morning. And OMG, it like tore it all up. It pulled it through the spaces and I guess like bit by bit and it shredded it all up. And it looks like he ate some of the carrot. Oh, okay. Don't be afraid, mouse. I'm not gonna hurt you. This mouse is going to be free today outside. And it's time for Ligaya to wake up. Good morning. Yes, morning. How are you feeling? <laughs> are you hungry? You didn't have a mouse visiting you last night, did you? <laughs> okay guys, positive affirmation for Friday, June the 12th. My job supports the unfoldment of my highest potential. I am so thankful for this employment. Ooh, there you go. While I read that, like I, I really felt my spirit like reverberate with that, resonate with that. I am thankful for the job I have and I do feel that I am slowly achieving my highest potential right the guys and I wish the same thing for all of you guys um, out there and so this is a very critical positive affirmation and I hope you guys like it and guys look at the beautiful day outside awesome just gorgeous so sunny sorry my window is a little dirty because it rained but beautiful, beautiful weather here in Manila. And some amazing news. Ligaya is starting to sing again. She's back to her normal self. She's like, serve me breakfast, human. She's going to her bowl, which isn't there. Ligaya, I'm happy you've bounced back. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. Now guys, so once this mouse is released, um, I'm gonna set the trap again just to kind of like make sure that there is no other mouse uh, because I mean there quite possibly could be. I don't know. I don't even know where this mouse came from. Like I live in a building so unless it like managed to run through the door the few times that RJ and I opened the front door, have no idea how it got in here. I mean, I suspect it crawled from another unit like literally up a vertical brick wall <laughs> because you know mice and rats are capable of doing this so yeah it probably took some very extreme measures to get in this condo and it chose the right condo because we're not killing it we're letting it go so yeah let's hope we can now say goodbye and close this mouse saga <laughs> Such good signs. She's playing a lot more. Playing with her foraging toys. I put uh, some cardamom pods in each of those hanging little things. I'm glad she's feeling better. Um, if you're just joining us, um, Legaya had a couple day sort of period when she wasn't feeling well. Her PDD kind of flared up again. Um, but then with some supportive meds, I think it's gone away. All right, Mousy. See you later, Harrison. It's been fun. <laughs> Alright guys, super excited because today we just found out that some things are arriving in the mail. Like <laughs> seriously, ordering stuff here so we don't have to go out to go shopping for them is just so convenient. If there's one thing we've discovered during this quarantine, it's that. Mabuhai squad, the thing that's coming today is 